Haley, stop. Sorry. Just trying to wake Taylor and David. I'm sure you did, along with the rest of the neighborhood. How long have you been up? Since I dreamt that my sister was screwing my other sister's husband. Ex-husband. Did you dream that too? That's so weird. Did I kill them in yours? No, actually, you played it cool. Well, then you really were dreaming because there's no way to play this cool. This is the most uncool thing Taylor's ever done. Morning, kids. Good morning, slut. You can get your things and go now. What's wrong? Are you still mad about me and David? That's so last night. You like that outfit enough to get buried in or you want to go put something on? Why? It's nothing he hasn't seen before. But if you insist. Are you gonna say something? I love you. Good morning! Oh, hey, I almost forgot we're late for the video game shoot. Better get going. Have a good day, Hales. Love you. Bye, Mom. Sometimes friends, they fight, they get mad at each other, but then they make up. Like Mom at Quinn and at Taylor? Exactly. They're mad at each other now, but eventually it'll blow over. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Well, let's see Taylor try and cook dinner with no pots and pans. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm spoiling my appetite. Haley, if you're so against this dinner, then why did you agree to it? It's a bad idea. Of course it's a bad idea. It's a terrible idea. But if Quinn and Taylor say I should be fine, I'm going to be fine. You seem fine. Oh, I am. I'm going to sit at dinner like a perfect little angel. And I'm going to say, oh, that's so nice, Taylor. Um, Taylor, that's a really funny story. Would you please pass the potatoes, Taylor? Only there won't be any potatoes. Hey, Brooke! Sup? Hi. I was just feeling a little lost, so I thought I'd come see the most stable couple I know. You're not using the good silverware? Good silverware is for good people. They're lucky I'm not making a meat off the floor. Such a bitch to everybody! Your whole life! Haley! Taylor! Give us your blood! Give us your blood! What the Take it back. Your family's cool. I got five bucks on my mom. Oh, yeah. I take a million days like today. Yeah, I guess you're right. It was a good day. Mm. <laughs> what? Your, your family's crazy. Whatever. What time does Scott Free come on? Oh. Well, whose car is this? It's yours. Happy birthday, Hales. How'd you like to spend the day just you and me? Quinn's watching Jamie. Let's go for a drive. Whatever. You say the sweetest things to me, Haley James. What is it? I'm pregnant. I think it's gonna be a girl. <laughs> Mom's gonna have a baby, right? I just wondered, you know, 
Hell. You said the basketball hoop was like my uterus. I, he caught me totally off guard. He was like a ninja, like a three foot tall, where do babies come from ninja. Where did you leave it? Kind of uncomfortable and confused. And that was just me. <laughs> I just started babbling about the birds and the bees and he was just sitting there looking at me like my dad was totally my hero until this very moment when I realized he's actually a complete ass. Hmm. He said he's gonna talk to you. <laughs> Great, thanks a lot. Yeah, good luck with that. Although I really appreciate the fact that my sexy husband doesn't want to leave home. <laughs> Besides, if we go with you, you're gonna have to give Jamie the sex talk with me. That's a good point. I'll miss you. Besides, did you see those two in Utah? Probably haven't even left the bedroom. Sick. Party foul on the mental image. Although Clay looks kind of hot. Watch it, you. <laughs> hey, good news. Quinn just called they're releasing her today. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I was actually going to go check on Clay. Is there anything I can do? Nope, I'm going to get her. Thanks, though. Uh, actually, there is something I wanted to talk to you about. I was hoping that Quinn could stay with us, at least until Clay gets released. Sure, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. I love you. Have I told you lately what a great husband you are? Come here. What? I'm sorry. I love you. I love you too. One more thing. Come with me. This is a little game I like to call make any shot and do whatever you want to me. Really? It's my girl Frisky. Crazy Frisky. I like this game. <laughs> you made me nervous. <sighs> oh, look at that. I do like this game. <laughs> she's staying. Oh. She's referring to Alex. Portland, you and me. It'll be fun. Come on, let's go. Well, if that makes you feel any better, I screwed up pretty bad with Erin today. She called in and I told her I had seen her perform live. And she hung up on me. I'm sorry, babe. So we're both a couple of screw-ups then. Always and forever. Hmm. Ah, Brooke. Julian. <laughs> Hello. Well... I have another crisis to deal with, and if it's anything like this morning, Brooke's gonna cancel the wedding before tonight. Sweet. Yeah. I'm gonna go gamble all our money away in a poker game. Rad. Screw up superpowers, activate. Stats are stats, you said so yourself. Well, I guess neither of us are screw ups after all. I guess not. You picked up Jamie from Chuck's house, right? I thought you did. Screw ups. Getting excited for your spelling bee? Much as I can for a spelling bee. What? I loved spelling bees when I was your age. Yeah, Dad said you were a nerd. Hey, you tell our kid I was a nerd? Yeah, many times. I'm not gonna lie to the kid, Hales. Jamie, your word is entrepreneur. No, 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 he's got this. He corrected this on my last paper for class. Really? Mm -hmm. Entrepreneur. E N T. R E P R E N U E R Entrepreneur. Yes. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. What? Madam. Well, second place. Also known as the first loser. You should be ashamed of yourself, you know that? As a matter of fact, why don't you walk home in the ring? Think about how badly you screwed up. Grandpa Dan. Nice call. You killed it up there, buddy. I am so proud of you. Jamie wants to go home with Miss Lauren and his friends. Oh, well, uh, I mean, I think the storm's really bad out tonight, huh? So, Chuck and Madison are going. Chuck's mom's an alcoholic. Mom, come on, I'm not a baby anymore, please. I know you're not a baby. Okay, I'll give you a choice. You can either ride home with Chuck, who's probably standing behind me right now making fun of you, or you can go with your mom and dad who love you. And we'll stop by and see Aunt Quinn, who's all alone. It's your choice. Thanks, see ya. Oh. Bye.
Fine, go, you little dork. You're the dork. <laughs> oh. Who took my baby and replaced him with that monster? I told you we should have sold him to Brooke before she lost all her money. Are you okay driving? Yeah. I actually like it like this. I've had a lot of interesting moments in the rain, you and I. Mm, interesting. <laughs> hey, if I wasn't pregnant, we could have sex in the back seat. <laughs> well, no, I'm kind of down with the pregnancy thing, too. Sorry. <laughs> can I help you? Yeah. You can help me by getting back in the car, you pregnant goof. Please, I feel really bad. The storm is terrible. Oh, oh. This is so a Christmas story. Back in the car, Ralphie. Sorry. Okay. Why wouldn't you just say uneducated? Because he's a pompous college professor, and you know what I would do if I were you? I would read that book. That's all you got? Just read the book and forget about Professor What's-His-Face. Kelly. Who? Kelly. Who? Okay, I'll read the book. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Hales. Bye. Bye. How deep did they go last night? Deep. Nice. It's the craziest thing that happened. Um, well, they, they kind of met Kellerman and brought him home with them. August Kellerman? No. Doggist Kellerman. <laughs> Do I even want to know? Did you say you found him on campus? <laughs> <laughs>